ladies and gentlemen, tonight the video will be how to make a Christmas socks on circular knitting machine. This one is Adi King. First we cast on the machine by one in the front, one in the back with our end like this and, and cranking the, the machine. And when you finish your first row, open the yarn feeder, put your in yarn inside and you start with yarn uh, <laughs> waste yarn sorry so I continue like this I will do like five or ten rows it, you do what you want but it's easier for you and then you go and add your project yarn in this case I use a uh, red and it was a ball that I have at home I didn't have enough so I have to start over this project like three times to make sure I have enough to finish it so I just add it like this put it close to the white yarn white yarn is my waist yarn so I don't attach it together because I have to remove it at the end okay so we'll crank it my machine like this to make sure there's no not too much tension don't forget to pull on your yarn during your uh, your uh, hmm, utilization of the machine I don't <laughs> I don't know how to say that to sound it right so you crank 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 like this and when you get to the number that we need we will have to cast off with waste yarn too so make sure you have some waste yarn at home so in this project you will need two times 50 rows so two 50 rows of red like this so almost finished I didn't attach my machine so that's why it's moving like that and I'm I always changing place so so I have my 50 rows cut my yarn put it in the middle push all the yarn on the lower part put the yarn waste yarn in the yarn feeder and I have just a little bit okay and if you notice here I have one stitch that I almost lost so I will take my wool needle that's a little tip wool needle and just grab it like this so that way I won't lose it during the cast off so now it's there I put that in the middle and I continue to crank Uh, just a little bit of waste yarn so when it get to the end it will release by itself only with waste yarn so no need to get a wool needle to remove it a uh, stitch by stitch for this project so you remove it like this put that aside and do a exactly same one and a one with 45 rows so you will need three pieces to do this socks. First, time to close our ends of tube. Find your tail. Always up opposite way of where you're gonna start the sewing. Okay. So I did the sewing. I I'm sorry the beginning is not there, but we you you will see on the other on on the other video don't worry so I use a crochet like this and close simple uh, stitch I do that till the other side sorry I did have I didn't have the first but just go on my my channel and check for five ways to close tube and you will get the beginning of this one if it's look easier for you compared to the other video that I use the technique is different this one so I continue like that till I get to the end so that way my tube will be a uh, stretch not tight at the end there
this video is a little bit long, I know, but it uh, took me like two hours of filming at the beginning and then I cut the most that I can't to get to 40 minutes. I know it's still long, but sorry for that. If you're comfortable with some technique, just skip it and go a little bit further in the video to get the rest of the information and you'll be okay. There, at the end, cut the yarn and just push that on with your finger and thumb, thumbs and remove the yarn, waste yarn. Just pull on it. When this part is done, do the other end the same way. Please stretch and don't forget to check if you didn't lose any stitches during the sewing part. Just hide the tail on your pieces. There, put that in the so I have my two tubes done. Now I have to go work on the third tube. This one it could be a, an alternative for people who have a problem to remove their project with the yarn needle. If you use waste yarn like this and just go with the yarn needle like this and get all the stitches, it's easier and it's easier to see you don't have to go between those two teeth on the machine. It's an alternative for your future hat. If it's easier for you, use that technique. No problem with that. There is no shame to use waste yarn. It's a good tools to work with. You give a more professional look at the end because you all have your stitch together. So I continue like that and then I will join the other end of this tail of red and do a little bow to keep it together. It's like a lifeline for now. I do a little bow and remove the waste yarn. So I remove the waste yarn and then when it's done I will have to remove the little bow and pull on it like when we do a, a hat. So I close, double knot, And put the yarn in the middle to hide the tail. There. I still have one. I should let it there, but I forgot that I have to attach both sides after. My mistake. But it's okay. I uh, just closed the little hole in the middle to get a bit of a better finish, a smooth finish. Put that tail in the middle and voila, it's all done. It's, and it's like a hat. So now, same thing, the other side. Cut the piece of, I go a little bit faster because I already showed how to do it. If it's too, too fast, just uh, check on the option of YouTube. You could slower any video when it's too fast for you. So I do the same thing and we'll remove the waste yarn. There we go. There is always a, a side that is 
harder to remove the waste yarn it's because it's the difference with the start and the ending of the knitting from the machine so I remove all the waste yarn with difficulties so that's that's why it's cut but it's okay <laughs> I could live with that so now I pull on my yarn to close that side too do a double knot and put the yarn in the middle like I did for the other side and voila almost complete for this time this piece so now stretch make sure it's stretch enough and then you go like when you do a little hat check the side that it look better for the the toe of your socks attach both sides together like this to keep it from open do a double knot hide your yarn in the middle of the two layer and grab some waste yarn again I use white because it was the waste yarn that I have now I will go with my yarn needle and just go grab a stitches like every two or three stitch just like this it would help keep my work together and not moving when I sew it that's why I do that there it's not hard to do the artist part will come soon to get all those pieces together for those of you who don't like to sew things <laughs> you won't like me <laughs> I'm sure so stretch it do a little bow make sure it's the way you want it and put the little bow inside of it make sure that it doesn't work doesn't bother your work so it would look like this when it's sewed together I hope to make my uh, body of socks longer but I didn't have en enough yarn you see in the little jar over there that's what I have left <laughs> to finish my project and a little snack and a little tea to go with it because sometimes I, I work on project I forgot to eat and I feel very not good at the end because my sugar level probably too low <laughs> but uh, I decide to take a step a step over and prepare myself a little snack now when I do a project so I grab my first stitches there and close it and tight it mm, yeah and then I will grab the other side now start over sorry the video skip I remove I uh, forgot to remove one it's okay keep going I'm not a professional uh, video maker I just I'm just doing my best so I grab so I will attach both together sorry we don't see but I'm not in the right place for the video but I will get closer there you go grab two on a side on a side two on the other side two on a side two on the other side it's like the bar if you could call it like this or in the middle of the V you grab two bars and this is the back of the socks arrive at the end of it I will go slowly grab two and go and if you're not good on crochet you could simply uh, sew it all with the yarn needle no problem I was just a little lazy no I was not lazy I was just showing different way to do it you could sew it with crochet you could sew it with the uh, yarn needle and it's worked too wool needle 
Don't know how you call it. There. It's look like this. Now, at the other side, it looks like this. Like when we do a blanket. The same thing. Well, now, put it in half. And I will do the bottom of my socks now. And I decide to go uh, easy way with my crochet. I will continue like this. Grabbing two pieces. And just go with easy crochet. I don't know how to call our my stitch that I use. I crochet but I never never keep a name of stitch in my head. I have a problem with that. There. There we go. Continue. And at the end, it will be the time to add the toe of our a little cheese. <laughs> Sorry, the, the disturb, disturbing video I did with food tonight. <laughs> I continue and I will attach the toe part. For the fur part that you seen on the video on, on the photo on the picture, it's a fantastic faux fur. It's eleven uh, hundred grams and the size of the yarn it's number five. So if you don't have it, don't worry, you could do that with regular yarn. And the pom pom too. If you don't have the Adzi Pro, you just do some pom pom with the yarn and you'll be fine. Or if you don't have any white to do the pom pom and the, the top of the socks, just go with ribbon. If you have white ribbon or gold ribbon or silver, it could be nice, or maybe green. It could be nice too. The socks is the, the base of the project so if you'd like to make your own decoration for it let's let your imagination uh, do the work do the tricks I don't know how to say it so time to add the toe toe is here I attach it with some plastic gadget that I never remember the name but you, if you, <laughs> you have it home you could use it if you don't just be careful and you'll be okay because the waist yarn keep your toe part together so you'll be fine attach one side and the other side will fix that after so with the wool needle cut it and attach it I have to remove this gadget in a minute because I forgot to do the knot I don't want to lose my stitches so better do the knot so attach it again and with a little piece of cheese in my mouth. I will continue. <laughs> so, wool needle. You grab one stitch on the side. I will be closer with the video. Don't worry. Just attach those two together, and I will. Now I will. Hide the little tail because it's going to bother me, I know. Give me a mess, so better hide those tail to keep me happier. <laughs> and it's going to get my work easy too. So I hide it in the two layer. 
this. That's it. Click. Cut it. Start over. So I grab two stitch in a side and one in the other side. I see closer. So grab two stitch like this, two bar. And on the other side, I will grab one stitch. Continue. Always stay on the same column. So that way it won't twist and look better. This will be wait for my uh, first grandbaby that just turned one year old a month ago. It will be her second Christmas, but it will be the first that she participating without sleeping <laughs> with us in front of the tree. So this year she she's gonna unwrap herself her gift. So I will put some treat in it for her and little toys. I, I hope she will enjoy it. And well, I'll ask my uh, daughter if I could put a picture of my granddaughter and post it on my Facebook group if it's okay with her for Christmas so you could see those big cheek she have. She turned 20 pounds, a big baby. I love her so much. So I will continue. There. And sorry for the red. I don't know why, but with my camera, when I use red, it's not easy that on the eyes to follow on the machine and when it's not on the machine too so I, I leave the tail just there I will take another piece of yarn and start on the bottom again and go up by doing the same thing sewing with my yarn needle so I pick there and I will continue the sewing And it's oops, sorry. I keep one stitch. I take one stitch on the side and two on the other side. And I skip one stitch. One, two, get the second one. And continue to sew it. When I will reach the the top of it, I will attach those two together. Don't worry, if your work is loose right now. You just have to pull on, on it at the end and it will get tight. Don't worry. This same thing almost on the top of the toe continue make sure you put your waist yarn inside so it don't interrupt your work there pull on it Cup 
about my stitch. There. One more. Try to go closer with the camera. One more like this. And attach those two tails together. When two tails are attached together, I will cut one, take the longer one, and continue to sew my socks. And for sure, hiding the little tail between the two layers. Almost finished. Don't give up. If you're still with me right now, I'm so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so it, it's time to sew those two together. Maybe you will see better here how to attach two panels together like when you do a blanket. A blanket. So I grab two on the other side and go grab two on this side. So it will do an uh, invisible seam at the end. No need to tight right now because you have just have to pull on your work at the end. It's an easy stitch and a very nice finish one. You do a nice finishing touch. See, you pull on it. Invincible. I will continue. So the body of your socks is almost done. Will be time to do some decoration soon. It's like I said earlier, if you don't have the Adi Pro to make the full fur uh, for your uh, your socks. It's okay, you could use some ribbon, anything that you have at home. We are in pandemic time, so that's why I didn't find any red on my store. All the store here with yarn and all, all empty shelf, especially with color, uh, Christmas colors. So I do my best. I have one ball at home, I did what I can with this one. My husband was laughing at me, he says, I use another color, and now I want it to be red. <laughs> It's a Christmas socks. But I finished it and he looked at it now and he said it's, it looked nice. He liked it. So I did good to doing it red. So hide the tail right now. So the sewing part is done. I will show you the big project. Now it's time to remove the waist yarn that's still <coughs> keep your toe apart together. Okay, so you go put your hand inside, cuckoo, <laughs> and then you go and just remove the little uh, little bow, and voila, it's removed very fast. And your socks is done. Oh, I forgot the little tail. I just saw it. So right now I will do a little knot to make sure that it's safe and not dangerous for my little grandbaby there that's the socks so now with the fantastic faux fur I will show you how to do a pom-pom on the machine first you go with regular yarn for the first row and you put it in the middle <coughs> Then you bring your fantastic full fur and open your yarn feeder and you really have to go slow and my machine is not attached so you will see that it's moving a little bit but it's normal when it's not attached so make sure that your full fur is easy to move like this okay if it's not it's not good 
and make sure that you don't put it in the little hole on your yarn feeder make sure that your yarn stay up okay like this or even if you could try to put it in the hole on the top I didn't think about it at first but maybe it could be an alternative so it's stuck it's because the yarn feeder little door keep it from moving so you have to stop and continue the machine is not attached so that's why it's a little moving but don't worry so I pull the yarn before from the balls so that way it doesn't make any extra tension on the machine it's always good to pull your yarn out of the uh, of the ball before you do a, a work on your machine and the yarn just go like this I did 10 rows cut the yarn put it in the middle like this put it there and bring back my normal yarn the white always use the same color of your I should close the yarn feeder I'm lucky that it didn't touch the, the needle because I could break one but I didn't notice it maybe I was too tired this day so now it's time to grab every stitches I put my finger in front of it because I don't want to lose any stitches and with full fur if you lose it you have to start over because it's very hard to see the stitches with this yarn for the first couple of uh, stitches to grab so I continue like this and you will make three like this two for the balls and one for the top of your socks don't worry I will repeat it later okay Continue remove it there. Push your machine down. Doesn't my counter doesn't work? So don't don't go with eighty five. It's not good. <laughs> so now I have to find my two piece of yarn that for the top to close it. Close my tube. Do two double knot in the middle put the yarn inside all the yarn don't cut anything right now put everything in the middle except the two that you need to pull on it to close your pom-pom easy as it is so you have your pom-pom for yours your project your hat your baby hat if you want it a little bit bigger just make more rows so and the third one will be for the decoration on the top I will stretch it a little bit make sure that it's the same length all the way and with the hook number four I will attach it with white yarn on the top of the socks so everything is stretched I will be easy now so important you know the two um, two regular yarn that you use make sure that you do a little knot and don't stretch and not stretch it but don't tight it too much because it's gonna ch change the shape of your uh, decoration for your socks so you close one close the other one and make sure when you sew it that you put your knot in the middle so it be eyed like this it's funny huh? the Adi Pro fit for the top of the the socks I was just testing it I don't know why I did this <laughs> okay continue I attach it first stitch and I start at the the back of my uh, my socks because I'd like to end it with uh, a chain of 10 to make like a little place to attach it on the on the wall so I will go with just single crochet around it and I will try to keep it from twisting the white 
yarn so with my finger and my thumbs I will keep it together so I start in the back of the socks and I will end it at the back of the socks with a chain of 10 then I will attach out on the bottom to attach it on the wall after but you won't see it because I cut it not in purpose though but I cut it so that's why I explain it right now so you just do single crochet around it to attach those two together there happy that you're still here with me hope you have learned some little trick during the video And I use some white so it will be better. We won't see it at the end. Voila! It's done. Now it's time to hide those little tail. And like I said, you didn't see how I chained the 10 stitches for the little hook at the end. Sorry for that. You could see it though. I do around and then I chain 10 and attach it on the bottom and now I do a little knot and hide it in the white so as you could see I just saw I just uh, sew with my crochet one side but if you're not good with crochet you could still do it with uh, your needle though. it's okay well now with the regular yarn because I didn't have any ribbon at home so I will go and grab the red and the white like this and go to the front of the, the socks go to the front the other half of the yarn is still on the back. I think I, I use like a meter of yarn for this part to attach. Make sure that you hide your knot. You see there's a knot over there. I will hide it between it. So turn it the other side. See the knot is here. I will put it inside. Make sure that it stay there. I will continue I should go like till I get to the middle and join it with the other but I didn't on the video but it could be a nicer way to finish it if you didn't have it done yet like me so take the other one see I, I was not right in the middle when I hand it so I go join the other side and I will go add my little pom-pom see I'm almost like on one side it's okay you you could do yours different and time to do the little pom-pom hope you enjoyed the video it's almost finished now to attach those pom-pom I will just go one side and go the other side attach it on the with the two piece of yarn and add a little knot twice and put it back and cut the yarn and when it's done I wish you a happy Christmas hope the pandemic will be done by the by by the time but I don't I don't think so but I hope 
So that's voila, that's my project for today. So don't forget to subscribe and share my video with your friends or family. And if you'd like to do it taller, just add a 10 more rows on the body of the socks and you'll be good. So ciao ciao. See you next week for other videos.